Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird won't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Toy Box. I am Festa the Jester and we're going to be playing uh, Doorway's Old Prototype again. I know I said I probably wouldn't play it again. Then I got to thinking, I think it's cool learning about all the other uh, Doorway Old Prototype games there are. So I think we'll do it again just for shits and giggles. I hope it starts off where I left off. Oh, it doesn't start off where I left off. Okay, well, we're going to have to cut, and I'll come back. <clears throat> Alright, everybody, welcome back. We got to the point where we left off from the other video. I didn't want to make you guys watch me re-go through all that stupid shit. So, here we go. On our way, doing some awesome parkour through this level this time. Haven't died yet. Oh, there I go. Spoke too soon. Fuck off. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yes. Yeah, alright. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, almost fell. I think they can hmm. see it really, really good. Yeah, they can. You can't see it really good because of the way the screen is facing. Hmm. Trust me, they can see it. Yes! Uh, uh, fucking parkour master! Fuck off! Um... Someone else is the parkour master. No, I'm the parkour master. God damn it. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Oh, I overshot it. Oh. I think Dennis is the parkour master. I am the parkour master of this fucking level. Dennis hasn't played this game. But he's done parkour. Ah, fuck. He's done parkour on Roblox. I'm cooler than Dennis. On oh, the computer. Fuck. I'm cooler than Dennis. Alright, I am... I am fucking parkour king, dude. Why do you have that thing? Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Because it doesn't make you stress out. I didn't think I could make that jump. That jump's a little too far away. Fucking love those parkour skills, don't you, bitch? What does Y do? Oh, you're saving? There we go. Alright. We did it. He's a... Oh, fuck! I think it's oh, this is just my type of... Thing, man, I like it. That was cool. Uh, oh, sorry, dude. Immersion was always. Oh, we're only four minutes in. Sweet. Immersion was always a key element in the series, and it was respected from start to end. The gamers who have already played the games maybe have noticed that there aren't texts or icons during gameplay. The only texts are in notes. In the loading screens in the main menu are over the walls during the game, but never the screen interface. The goal was to get the player sucked in by the game using the music, sound effects, but also with visuals and gameplay. Good to know. See, that's the only reason why we're still playing this is for the notes. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, fuck. I have no idea how to get past that one. I'm trying to see if there's anything down here, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, there was. Secret entrance. No, there wasn't. Fuck! What are you supposed to do? Oh, shit, here he comes. Damn it. Make it follows you. Okay, Schmeagle. But every time I fucking stomp on this stuff, he fucking kills me. from this thing or what? Run from it! 
But I keep dying, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, look behind you. <laughs> He's still just going the wrong... Okay. I guess that was nothing. Whatever. Fucking baby screams and shit, goddammit. Oh, there's a bunch of papers on this one. With this prototype you have just played, Tobias was able to convince his uncle to invest in the project. It was in 2011 when they started a small familiar partnership, which they called Saviet Studios. Since we're talking about a middle class family in a third world Argentina, the first investment was very small, but the amount of work and commitment was huge. In March 2012, the first game, Prelude Chapters 1 and 2, started its official development with a team of two people. Uh, the office at the time was Tobias's room at his mother's house. A year later, 2013, the first title got into the stores, becoming the first Argentinian game to be released from Steam Greenlight. Oh, that's fucking neat. Good stuff. Guess you have to eat. Good to know, right, guys? This is cool. In 2014, the development team expanded to five people to get the second game done during that same year, the, U the Underworld Chapter 3. In 2015, the team continued growing to eight people and created their third, final, and biggest game in the series named Holy Mountains of Flesh, Chapter 4. This last game launched as early access at the same year and got fully released in 2016, five years after this old prototype. I think we might have to play these games. You guys, let me know if you like the video and you want to see me play these games. Uh, that they're talking about part one, two, three, and four, and we will get them from Steam, and we will play them because it was decent. It wasn't terrible. I'm glad I got ten minutes out of this video because I think this is the end of the prototype. So we'll see in a second here. If it, yep, took it back to the main menu. So that was fun. You guys, go ahead and high-five that like button in the face. Leave some comments down below. Let me know if you want to see me play the other prototypes. Um, or whatever they're called. Doorways. I don't know. Uh, we're going to end this video here. And we're going to go back to Red Trigger. Alright. Bester out.